Good morning, everyone. Uh, on behalf of uh, Mike and Pastor Beth, welcome to our second town hall uh, for this uh, year. Um, the way this will flow, there's about five topics that Mike has to go over to let you know what the leadership board has uh, been working on and what the plans are. At the end of each one of the sections, Mike's agreed to do a question and answer to try to segregate out all of the topics. So if you do have a question after he finishes one, he'll ask for it. I'll bring the microphone around because we're live streaming as well. And then um, <clears throat> answer the questions, then we'll move on to the next one. So if anyone online has any questions, we'll be monitoring that as well. And uh, we'll read those aloud and answer them off that. As he please, uh, let's open with a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for every seat that's been filled in here. Thank you for this wonderful day, and thank you for the opportunity to meet together to discuss how Haygood is moving within the community to further your vision and your desires. We ask that you be with everyone in here and aid us in a healthy discussion to move, you, to move your will forward. We pray this in your heavenly name. Amen. Thank you, Mike. I would also add that at the end of the town hall, uh, Kristen has a handout that kind of summarizes what we talked about, so you'll get one of those on the way out. As most of you know, we had the leadership board had a goal-setting retreat back in early May, and one of the things that we agreed to do was to create or recreate some teams that we had put together uh, right before COVID happened, and then COVID happened, and it kind of slowed some of us down. So uh, one of the teams is the facility alignment team, uh, or the FAT team, but we're expelling that with a P-H-A-T for physical. Uh, and the goal of that team is to align the facility with the mission and vision. I have reached out to several people over the last week or so, and uh, we're coming along with getting that team put in place, so that's good. Chapel team, uh, we have a chapel team in place, or we're close, still asking, and one of the goals of that team, or the main goal of that team, is how can we use our chapel for worship. One of our challenges is this service that we have at 930 would not fit in the chapel. There's too many people, so we're, we're going through that. Uh, we're, how can we use that part of our history in our worship service? Crossroads team, which is to assess the ministry within the community, is in process of being formed. A ministry audit team, uh, which will evaluate all of our church ministries, is also being formed. And we have goal dates for a lot of these teams, like the facility alignment team, the goal to have that in place is actually this weekend. So one of the things we want to do is improve our communications with the congregation, and that is something that Mike Fogel, Bill Slingerland, and I are going to work on town halls, one of those ways. And if you all remember, right when we started in Ally, if you were here, we asked people to take a strength finder survey. So we're actually going to re-engage with that survey, ask anybody that hasn't completed that survey to do that for us. So stay tuned for more information to come on that. Any questions on what uh, the outcomes were for our retreat. Anything online? Nothing online. Okay. Staffing, so as I mentioned at our town hall meeting in March, that Keith Best was gonna be retiring um, from working at Haygood. So we put a team together that was made up of attendees from all of the different worship services, plus some staff members, and we have come up with a new uh, job description for that and we are just waiting for approval on the job description to be able to move forward, and we should have that after our next leadership board meeting, which is on June 21st. Um, we are so grateful that Keith has agreed to continue to serve until we find someone to fill that spot. If you've paid attention to the Beacon, our newsletter lately, you will see that the church had been advertising for a part-time office manager, and, the, and at the same time, the preschool had been advertising for an office manager. Well, we had very little luck with the two separate positions, so we made the decision to put the two positions together uh, with a combined job description. We posted that, and we had several uh, applicants for that. Um, we 
Beth and Lori did some uh, Zoom pre-screening of some of the applicants. And then uh, several of us interviewed a couple applicants a week or so ago. And I'm happy to say that we have a new person who, who has been hired and they will start June 20th and they will be introduced in the Beacon, this week's Beacon. The main schedule will be they will be in the preschool in the mornings to help with opening up and getting things going over there and then shift to the office in the afternoons. With the office being closed on Friday, they will be at the preschool all day on Friday. We're still utilizing volunteers in the office in the mornings. So until uh, the person comes over to the office, we will be utilizing volunteers like we have. Vicki Reimer, who we hired uh, right about a year ago as our director of Connectional Ministries, um, has resigned to take a job at ODU as a professor over there. So we're grateful for the work that, uh, that Vicki did while she was here and wish her luck. We are working on that job description as well. Stay tuned for more information on that. That is the staffing update. Any questions on the staffing update? Don? Full time. And that was the challenge with, with, so the question if anybody's online was, will that the office manager be full time or part time? It'll be full time when we combine the hours of the preschool job and the church job, that person will be here full time. Yes. Of uh, the office? No. The office will still be open until two. Mm -hmm. Well, she will uh, from 10 to two. She'll be in the office from 10 to two. She'll be in the preschool from 7.30 until 10. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Next topic is new email addresses. So one of the things that Vicki was working on was a new website domain for the church. And if you all are familiar with websites and emails. Most of the time, a nonprofit like a church, the email ends in .org for, or, for organization. Ours does not. It ends in .com, which is typical of a company or a corporation. So we've been working on setting up a new uh, website that will be HeyGoodUMCVB.org. There is another HeyGoodUMC in Atlanta, so we added the VB to that, to separate it. So as part of that, you're gonna start seeing some new email addresses come out. Pastor Beth has already started using one. It's pastor at heygoodumcvb.org. And at some time, way, way, way out in the future, when Pastor Beth ever leaves Heygood, that email address stays here. So if anybody needs to communicate with the pastor, it's pastor at heygoodumcvb. Uh, we, we have one for the trustees set up that Joe has started using. There's one for the leadership board. There'll be one for all the staff. There'll be one for the treasurer. So you can direct any questions you have to those uh, specific email addresses. And that information is going to be coming out probably in the next week or two on what those email addresses are. Any questions on that? What you'll have to do, because I've had to do it as well, is a lot of times that new email address will go to your spam or your junk email, so you have to pay attention to your junk email. I was getting emails from Pastor Beth and Joe, and I'm like, why am I not getting these emails? Come to find out, they were in my junk email. So um, when we start using those, just make sure you check that. Annual conference, as Pastor Beth mentioned, is coming up this week in Hampton. I will serve as the delegate for Hey Good. We also have uh, four members of our church that will be district at large delegates. That's Lori, Leslie Lampella, Mike Fogel, and Jan Jones. So please be in prayer for the annual conference as well as all of us beginning on Thursday morning. The last thing I had was just to let you know where we are year to date with our finances, and this is through the end of April. And we have received $207,500. We have spent 
$600, so we're running about $6,000 ahead. I will say that May was a very strong month as well, so we are in very good financial position uh, almost halfway through the year. Any questions on that? Any questions in general? That's all I had on my list to talk about. Uh, yep. Um, we were going to talk about the time schedules for the services. Yes, and, and I mentioned earlier we put a, uh, we've put a team together to work on how, how we're going to use the chapel in worship. So as it stands right now, we're not changing our current worship schedule, but we are working on how we're gonna incorporate the chapel into our worship. Okay, I, I heard that and I was gonna ask that question at that time, right. but I thought maybe it'd be more appropriate later and I discovered yeah, no, it wasn't. No, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> um, I understand that the, the group that meets in the social hall is too big for the chapel. Is that what you told, you said? No, the group that meets in here. <laughs> in here at is too big for Is too big for the chapel, big. yes. All right, well, I misunderstood that. Yep. Well, there's not a chance of having an 8.30 service or an earlier service at the chapel. Well, that's what this, the team we put in place to, on how we're going to utilize the chapel is going to evaluate. And, and when do you think we might hear something about that? That we are just now putting that team in place. So it's, I mean, it's going to be this summer. I mean, it will, hopefully we'll, have, we'll make a decision on that fairly quickly on how we want to use it. But Okay, thank you. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yep, Jeff. Say on Wednesday evenings around six I mean that, thirty or something. That's something we can consider. That's like I said. That's why we've put this team in place to evaluate how we can use the chapel. Good. Yep. Any other questions? All right, thank you all very much. And like I said, there's a summary handout when you leave. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me or Pastor Beth. Thank you. Well, I mean, well, well, I mean, who, whoever we hire will be in that office. I mean, we're going to replace Vicky. It might be with a different. It might be with a different title, but somebody will be.